hey and welcome back to another video in this video i'm going to be showing how to set up a different version of the gate cluster which i will be referring to as the sd digital unlike the other one i'm going to be using a material to act as the needle so with that let's get started so first off we are going to duplicate the pre-existing gauge material so Control d and then we go, i'm going to refer to this one as the digital gauge cluster and then open the material and then just dock it to the top and then what you want to do is we are going to remove everything but the section over here so just drag this part out a bit and then remove the rpm and the lerp as well as the texture sample and then leave the rest alone so from here we are going to work with the texture coordinate disconnect the two vector hold alt and click on the noodle to disconnect it move it over to the front a bit and then in its place we are going to add a one vector so hold one and then left click and then connect the one vector to the rotation angle and then set the value to 0.25 and then from the custom rotator drag off and look for a subtract and then by the subtract the lower b we're going to add another one vector so hold one left click connect that to the b value and then this one's value is going to be 0.5 and then from the subtract, drag off and look for a multiply. And by the multiply, we are going to connect the two vector to the B, change the values from 0.5 to negative one for the X, and then for the Y from 0.5 to one. And then from the multiply, drag off and look for a vector to radial value. And then from the vector converted to angle, drag off and look for an add. And then by the p value hover over the pin right click convert to perimeter we're going to call this percentage and then we're going to set this value for now to 0.1 and then from the add drag off and look for a floor from the floor drag off look for a multiply and then connect the multiply to the b value by the add and then currently this is what it looks like we're going to fix that in a little bit and then also um, the text sample for the gauge cluster, take the RGB A and then connect that to the alpha, as well as take from the multiplier and then connect that to the B value by the lerp. So now it looks like this. So let's fix the rest of it. So below the code we created just now, we are going to hold one and then create a new one vector. From the one vector, we are going to drag off and look for a radial gradient exponential and then disconnect it from the uv's and connect it to the radius instead and then by the density we are going to add another one vector so hold one left click connect that to the density and then what we're going to do is we are going to duplicate the radial gradient exponential control d and then over here we are going to drag off from the first one vector uh, first set the value to 0.5 set the other vector value to 60 and then from the 0.5 one vector drag off and then look for a subtract connect the subtract to the radius and then by the b value hover over the pin right click promote to parameter we're going to call this one thickness set the thickness value to 0.1 and then we're going to add another one vector hold one left click connect that to the density and then this value we are going to set it to 10 and then from the top radial gradient exponential drag off and look for a subtract connect the bottom node to the b value and then connect the subtract to the multiply b value and then now we have this as the material so that's how you want it to look like and then also if you want to change the color for any particular reason just move everything out the way and then what we're going to do is we're going to add a three vector hold three and then left click and then from the top pin we're going to drag off and look for a multiply and then we are going to connect the multiply after the floor to the b value then going to connect that multiply to the b value by the lerp so now if we go in and change the color over here as you can see the color has changed a bit 
it's just because of how everything is being blended together you can't really see the color changes but you can see if you move it around the colors do in fact change so this is how you would have the color change happen so with that we are finished here apply and save and then we're going to head over to the vehicle ui and then in here we are oh sorry before that head to the level and then we're going to do the same as did with the gauge cluster on the material digital gauge cluster right click and then create a material instance from it and then we're going to rename this to mi so it's like that save all and then we're going to head over to the vehicle ui and then click on the gauge cluster then we're going to change out the image for the cluster when i set it to the one we created just now the digital gauge cluster um not the mi the normal material so it looks like that and then we're going to head over to the graph and then here we're going to do the same thing as last time create a new function we're going to call this just going to make it short i'm going to call it dg gauge cluster and then we're going to head over to the gauge cluster material and then pretty much just copy the entire code and then come over here save and then we just need to add the input rpm of type float and then connect the execution pin connect the rpm to the value at the end and then remove the mi cluster also delete that and then we're going to change the material that we're looking for to the digital cluster and then from and then we're just going to from the return value drag off and then promote that to a variable we're going to call this dg cluster connect the execution pins connect everything as it was and then drag in the material that we just created connect that to the input object by the is valid and then that will be everything and then by the set scalar parameter value we need to change this from rpm range to percentage so we're gonna do that as well oh okay. oh we need to target we need a target so we need to get the dg cluster again and then connect that to the target and then we're gonna compile and save and then we're going to head over to the event graph and then we're just going to swap out the gauge cluster function for the dg cluster so just drag in the dg cluster and then connect the values up so everything will pretty much remain the same for now just drag that out the way just connect the noodle and then you're going to compile and save and then go test it out and then if there's anything that needs to be changed we're going to change it here so Save all, play the level. So as you can see, it functions fine. And then if you don't like the way things are, you can come and play with some of the values over here. You can play with the thickness, you can play with the density. Each one of these is going to alter the appearance. So that's pretty much that. And then because this video is gonna be otherwise quite short, I'm also going to set up a boost gauge so we can get rid of this text block over here. So all we're going to do is head over to the level, take the TG gauge cluster material and then control D duplicate it. And then we are going to call this the M underscore boost gauge. And then we're going to open that up and then we are going to remove the texture symbol, delete, and then connect the multiplier to color. And then that's pretty much how that's going to look and then just to kind of differentiate it we are going to play with some of the values over here by the density so i'm going to set this one's thickness to 0 0.03 and then increase the bottom density that is at 10 i'm going to increase this to 60 to make it look more like a solid line you can play around with these as you want and then we're going to compile we're going to apply and save head over to the vehicle ui we are going to add another image and then this image we're gonna call it boost gauge just move it to where the gauge cluster is bottom right change the brush sorry i was a bit in a rush day we need to obviously go through the same things head into the level take the boost gauge right click create material instance and then we're just gonna rename it to mi boost gauge and then save all vehicle ui select the image the boost gauge and then we are going to make the image quite big let's maybe say 450 by 450 and then we're also going to add some padding to it let's see 36 okay 36 is a bit much 
I think 10 should be fine. Uh, I'm gonna go to the boost gauge, percentage, set this to 0.75, just so we can get a nice idea of how it looks. Okay, it looks, it looks, it looks mostly fine. And then we're gonna compile and save, head over to the graph. And then what we're gonna do is, we're going to create a new function again. We're gonna call this one, okay, what's called B underscore gauge. That's fine. And then we're just gonna control V to paste the code we copied because it's pretty much all just gonna be the same. Add an input to the node of type float. We're gonna call this one boost. And then we're gonna connect the execution pin, connect the boost to the value, remove all the nodes we don't need, and then change what we do by the create dynamic material. We're gonna look for the boost gauge, MI boost gauge. Return value, drag off the multi variable. Uh, you want to hold BST underscore gauge, connect the execution pin, and then we're going to look for the boost gauge material. Drag it in, hold control. Then we're going to connect that to the target for the set brush material. Connect from the set blue pin, connect to the material, and then drag in the newly created material for the boost gauge. Connect that to the target and then change the parameter name. The parameter name is the same as the other one, percentage. And then over here by the is valid, remove the MI, add the boost gauge, and then compile, save, head to the event graph. And then by the event graph, we are going to drag off from the S sports car port, drag off and say get nitro fuel. And then from the get nitro fuel, drag off and say map bridge clamped, and then set the values. The in range A is 0, in range B is 100, and then you can pretty much set it from wherever it is that you would like. 0 is at the bottom, rotating all the way around to the left. So I'm going to set it as 0 to 0 0.75, 0 0.75, and then drag in the B gauge function we created. Connect the map range clamped to the boost. Connect the execution pin. Compile and save. Head over to the level. Save all. Play the level and then as you can see when i hit the boost the gauge animates and then comes back to life we can still have the text gauge here so we can verify that it is in fact working so we're going to remove the text the text block now because it works so head over to the vehicle ui the designer and then the text block we can now delete that because we don't need it anymore compile save and then that will be the end of this video, cancel that, apply and save. But that brings us to the end of this video and until the next one.